Hello and welcome to the UMET SAT summary video for March, the first month of meteorological spring in 2014. I'm Mark Higgins, one of the trainers here at UMET SAT. We start the month with very chaotic skies over Europe. You can see a lot of the high ice clouds coloured cyan in these images and lower water clouds coloured white. At the start of the month, the weather pattern was dominated in the west by uh, weather coming in from the Atlantic, bringing some light rain and showers over Western Europe and an easterly flow across the eastern parts of the continent. After the beginning of the month, we start to see a real shift in the weather patterns. High pressure starts to dominate over Europe and we start to see the first days with really clear skies. So we'll be able to see a lot of land and also quite a lot of low cloud that melts away during the day. You'll still see these low pressures being pushed to the north by the high pressure, so going around the northern parts of the UK. But here on the 9th and 8th, we start to see really, really clear skies over Europe. And we were starting to see some really nice high temperatures, so London and elsewhere recorded to 20 degrees or higher. A couple of things to notice, you'll see the stationary cyan on the ground indicates snow and where there's no cloud over water bodies you might be able to see some sea ice, particularly in the northern Caspian Sea and the northern Gulf of Bothnia between Sweden and Finland. In the eastern parts over the sea, you can see a lot of low cloud and fog. And this slowly melts away during the day, just in the coastal areas. You'll see that fog matching the coastlines. A shift as we get into the middle of the month, low pressure passing across Denmark, Sweden, and into the Baltic states, and more cloud coming in over Central Europe. France and the Iberian Peninsula remaining clear at this time. On the 16th, in the, the clouds just off the coast of France, you can see some ship trails, these lines in the low cloud and fog. Just in the clearer patches towards eastern Turkey, you can see the snow over the Carpathian Mountains. And you get small glimpses of the sea ice in the northern Gulf of Bothnia here on the 19th. As we move towards right at the end of the month, you'll see that uh, ice area decreasing. Another change in the weather pattern, much colder air starting to come in over the north and west parts of Europe. So you might see some snow falling over the UK, can be seen in a, an image, it's called a cold pool, and there's an image available on our website for that. And you'll see these smaller uh, convection cells coming in off the Atlantic, bringing rain over the UK. During the day here in the east, you can see cloud melting away over the Black Sea as the day goes on and the temperature warms. Quite a period of unsettled weather on the 25th. And again, you can see now on the 26th, moon 27, air coming in from the east high pressure building, and we'll start to see some of that low water cloud again, low cloud fog in some areas. Small low pressure in the Mediterranean just off Italy on the 27th.
As we get towards the 28th and 29th, we'll see this weather system coming up from the south. This was a weather system that actually brought a lot of dust to France and the UK. You can't see the dust in this imagery on our website. We have an example of it. So here on the 30th, that cirrus cloud that's just coming north contains a lot of dust. And that was seen on a lot of cars in the morning of the 30th and 31st.